What's up, people? Welcome to the What's Been Going On of this week from the 19th to the 25th of August. And I am indeed wearing a hat that makes me look like a middle aged white woman in a resort that has a buffet in Mexico that wears way too much sunscreen and probably um, judges everyone because she's wearing this hat. So it's a judgy look, but I have to wear it because uh, my hair at the moment, it is very bad. Like it is because it is not that short anymore. It is starting to grow, but it doesn't even look sort of long. It's just very messy. It's like I have curly hair, but I, I don't have curly hair, but it, 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 it is awful. I had to wear the hat. I will be forced to use a hat for some weeks, probably, until it comes back to normal form. And this week was my first week back home, like just finally in my city, in my apartment, in my place, not traveling, not just, just chilling, just chilling. And it was amazing. It was so good on Friday. So I had two events this week. One on Friday, and that event led to the event on Sunday that was not planned. So on Friday, I just had one chill event, which was going to the beach with some new students that are coming to my city and from, you know, the Erasmus thing. So it, it's students from all over Europe, all over the world that come here and they're new and they may come for a semester, they may come for a year. And I only went there because one of my friends was supposed to go. So I was like, I wanted to meet up with him. I haven't seen him in three or four months. So it was a great time to meet up with him. You know, like, let's go to the beach. And he said, oh, there's an event on Friday. I'll see you there. And the thing was that we had to meet up in the city center, right? Just makes sense. Uh, and then from that place, we were going by tram to the beach to play volleyball, you know, drink a bit of wine, chilling chill in the beach and he said and i told him hey let's meet up in the center of course like it makes sense that's what the thing said he said no because the tram goes and it goes where i live so uh he wanted me to just tell him when the tram was actually outside of where he lived so he can just hop in in half the journey so not to go to the city center and then go back and then go to the beach well, the problem was he uh, didn't preview that we didn't end up going in a tram. We ended up going in a minivan because the guy rented out a minivan, which was very cool because we can just go from the city center. We take the minivan and we go straight to the beach. So my friend didn't even go. So I was in an event with people I haven't met ever in my life. I ended up talking to a Polish dude from Poland for a long time, which I became very close friends with him. Well, not very close friends, but we just spoke all the event, which was very cool. And then there were Norwegian people, very nice. We ended up playing volleyball in the beach with the sunset, drinking wine, and we had a very good, very elaborated football match in the beach. First time playing football in months as well. More even in the beach, like playing football at the beach, that's like, Oh, no, no. You, like you feel like you're in Brazil and and there were some Brazilian people as well like it was so good my my team was just the name of Brazilian footballers so I was Kaká there was Roberto Carlos there was Ronaldinho and there was Rivaldo and we were playing against the other people who I think they had names I think they had Argentinian players so they were like Maradona, Messi, Riquelme and all of them so we beat the Argentinians and we won the match and then we just drink wine watching the sunset with people from all over Europe it was very good so then Saturday comes around I don't really do much I was very tired from that football game the day before and Sunday comes around and I'm like bro it's Sunday you know it's day of God you know you don't you shouldn't do much it's a chill day and the Polish dude he texts me like hey you know what there's a pool party today. Do you want to come? We're going to do a barbecue and things. And I'm like, dude, 
Like it is it's Sunday, we just went out yesterday, like again, but he had a great point. Like I'm in vacation, I don't get in until the 9th of September. I still have two more weeks of vacation. And instead of staying in your house, you can be in a pool party with barbecue with people from all over the world. I think it was quite um it was quite an easy choice now thinking about it. But I was very tired, but even though I I went, I met a Mexican dude that was very funny and we played American football. Like he had the American football ball and we were passing it all around and then next thing I know there's like 40 people in a pool, well not 40, 30 people in a pool. We we're all playing that and we had a barbecue and oh man, it just feels great to be back home. Then I went, I came back home with all of those people that I mentioned before, but now I'm home again and it feels amazing, man. And as well, I got a new acquisition, ah, oh, fucking hell. Acquisition, I don't know, I, I'm forgetting how to speak English, that's why I need to make these videos. I made a new, uh, I bought a new thing. I have an oven now, which I underestimated the power of ovens. I think that it was probably the best purchase I've made, I've made in the last, probably the whole year. I can make all sort of foods with an oven. I can make hot dogs, I can make barbecue, like ribs, barbecue ribs. I can heat up pizzas, I can make pizzas, I can do quesadillas. I can do everything in an oven. And that's what I did this week. Just use the oven all week long until today, which is the end of the week. Oh, August is coming to an end, which sort of scares me because then that means that school is about to start, which is not that good. At least my hair is growing as time goes on. That is good. And uh, oh, as well, I met up well, I did an internship from April to June and there was practically everyone was at least a couple of decade, decades older than me. And there was one dude who was practically my age. He was only one year older than me. So we had fun. Well, I had fun with him all internship long because we we're just, you know, every time we spend time together, it was like spending time with one of your mates from school. It didn't really feel like I was working, so that's why, well, of course we were working, but uh, since it was a person close to your age, you get to, you know, the interaction is different and it's a sort of more fluid. So I went to eat lunch with him. I went to the place to did my internship. I said hello, of course, because that's what you should do. I said hello to all the people that work there still. And when we eat lunch, he tells me, he had a little adventure. He went to a little island in Spain called Ibiza. And uh, this very famous party island that he tells me all the adventures he did. He went with his friend group that were all his age, that are, are all a bit nuts as well. So he was telling me all the things that happened in Ibiza. And I was like, damn, I need to go there now. <laughs> And it was just very cool to see him again. Very cool to... We, we ate tacos, we ate Mexican food as well. That is very good. Which is probably my favorite food in the whole world. It was very cool seeing him. And yeah, that was the week. That was this week from the 19th to the 25th. August is ending. August is, is coming to an end very, very soon, man. I... I, I so enjoy a lot this next week dude <laughs> because it's the last one of august well thank you a lot for watching the what's been going on of this week and see you next week bye